Welcome back to Tires on the Road. Today we're going to be installing a water meter, actually a flow meter, on the downstream side of our fresh water pump so we know exactly how much water we have remaining in our water storage tank. So we just got back from dry camping. And one of the things that makes me very frustrated is how inaccurate the water beaters are in the RVs. So when I load the tank, I use a meter and for example, this weekend we used 38 gallons of water. That's what I put in the fresh water tank. How much water's left? I don't know, I haven't drained it out yet, but I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna drop it into a five gallon bucket and see how much water I get out. But it dawned on me, if I put 38 gallons in and I measure how much water's coming out, I should be able to have a really good idea on where we are at with our water storage. So we picked up this meter that mounts in line, which will come off of the water pump and will show us how much water has gone through the water pump so we can have a better understanding of how much water we have remaining in our tank. So I'm gonna hook this up on the downstream side of the water pump and I think it's gonna be pretty easy to install. And I'm gonna mount the meter inside of the wet bay. This will do a continuous tally until I reset it. So it'll give us an idea on how much water we have remaining in the tank based on how much water we've used. Kind of like flying an airplane. You know what your gallon per minute consumption rate is. You know how much fuel you put in it. So you can estimate what your fuel usage is and how much fuel you have remaining. This should do the same thing. Hopefully this NPT fitting will go on to here and not leak. I'm gonna put some Teflon tape on there. And I'll take the hose from the water pump. Now we just need to take the wire from the sensor or the meter and plug it into the flow meter. And the meter came to life because it detected a little bit of flow through it. It'll put itself, it'll put itself back into sleep mode when there's no water running through it. I'm gonna hook up the hose and run some water through it and give it a test. All right, fill up a five gallon bucket. Plus I wanna know how much water is left in the tank. You can see the water is flowing here with the squiggly line. And if I hit display, we're doing 1.44 gallons per minute. That's all the water pump puts out. You hit the button again, it'll go back to gallons. Tap this button, it'll go back to gallons per minute. We've got two gallons so far. So we've got five gallons on the meter. And at five gallons, it just started overflowing. So pretty close. Not scientific by any means, but pretty close. Okay, this is about as best of a setup as we're gonna get because we can't rely on the little meter inside the coach to tell us how much water we have left because a third of a tank would be like 33 gallons. And I put in 10 gallons and it shows a third. So you can't rely on those as you all know. So now I have the water meter on the inflow to the tank so I can measure the water going in. So if I put in 50 gallons, I know that my continuous meter up here every time the pump's on and pumping, it's gonna totalize how many gallons I've used to give me a really good ballpark on where we're gonna be water-wise while we're dry camping. This is about as good a setup as we're gonna get on knowing how much water we have remaining in our fresh water tank when we are dry camping 
or boondocking. We can monitor and gauge how much water goes in our storage tank. So if we put in 50 gallons here, we should know that now with this meter up here, which is showing how much water we've used, when this hits 50 gallons, the tank should be empty. We'll have a lot better idea knowing how much water we have remaining in our tank because we'll know exactly how much water we've used. So 50 gallons in, 50 gallons out, the tank should be empty. 50 gallons in and 45 gallons out, we should have five gallons remaining. Again, I think this is about as close as we're gonna get on any type of gauging system for our freshwater tank. If you've done anything similar or um, have any other ideas, make sure you leave a comment down below. Very simple installation. Probably took me, it took me longer to get the parts to get it to adapt to the water system than it did to install it. It literally took me a minute and a half to install it. And yes, I did add a light in here. Thanks Rich, over at Checking It Out with Rich. Just so we have a quick way of turning the light on and being able to see what's going on in here and check all our water connections. And make sure there's no drips. While I'm thinking about it, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you know anybody else who could use this video, make sure you share it with them as well. When you want to reset this meter back to zero, you just hold down the reset button right here and it will reset back to zero. That sun is bright. I did add a second flow meter, which is the water going out of the rig and being consumed. I can also monitor just during normal city hookup, how much water we're using to get an idea and be able to log that for uh, future boondocking excursions. Now, when I load the fresh water tank, I'll know how much water is going in and I'll also know how much water we're using out of the tank. So I can reset these back to zero. Once I fill the tank up, say I put 20 gallons in or 50 gallons. When this one over here reads 49 gallons, I'm getting close to being out. This is probably the most accurate way we'll be able to monitor our water remaining in the tank and how much we've used. Also now I won't have to hassle using my inline water meter because it's built in. So one less thing to deal with when I'm filling up the tank or whatever I'm doing as far as loading water, I don't have to use this anymore because the gallons per minute meter is built in.